They are women from all across the area locked up in a South Carolina prison, incarcerated for committing some of the most heinous crimes. For many, a life beyond those prison bars is years away. Still, though, they're finding purpose in pets. News 12's Shelly Munez has a special assignment that takes a look at how former racing dogs are giving inmates this new leash on life. It sure is. You know, the question is, how do you find purpose when you're serving, let's say, a life sentence? You've been convicted of felony DUI or kidnapping or even murder. Night. Sit. Wait. Okay. And it had been several years since I had pet a dog. But perhaps even longer for these women, the last time they were outside these bars. Just past the barbed wire and gates of Camille Griffin Graham Correctional Institute in Columbia. Come on, buddy. You'll find inmates getting back on their feet with help from some four-legged friends. This is where we keep our dog food. Come on. And they know it, so they come in here. And they start sniffing around. They eat 5.30 in the morning. Okay. We're up with them. Um, you got to take them out. They're in your room. If you can have a dog at work, you take them to work. They're greyhounds, all former racing dogs. And we're basically a foster home for these dogs. It's not your typical foster home, but this program really started as a need for quality foster care for our greyhounds. Put that down. Get it. Get it. Knight and his friends will stay with these inmates until they're adopted. I feel like every time they get adopted, we're saving their lives. And that says a lot coming from women who are here because someone lost theirs. I was drinking one night and I went down the wrong side of the interstate and I hit them head on and all three of them got killed. We can't show you Shayna's face, but she's now paying for that crime with a 25-year sentence. He's a good boy, aren't you, baby? Julie is here for life. Do you believe that you deserve this dog? I do. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I feel like I have a lot to offer to people and things, and I have made a terrible, horrible mistake. Um, I'm, get, I'm living with that. We are somebody's children. We are somebody's grandchildren, somebody's mother. And we're all good people, and we've just made a, a mistake. And being locked up since I was a teenager, never having a chance to be able to nurture or have children or do any of that, the dogs are um, character builders. <laughs> they will all tell you a bad decision landed them here, but they will also tell you these dogs give them purpose. I've seen some huge changes in these ladies. It gives me meaning to my life. It helps me to, to know that that I'm doing something that matters because a lot of times in here you don't feel like you matter. And they teach the women patience. You know, they're, they're, um, even if sometimes it's not mutual. You know, we're giving these dogs a chance, but they also give us a chance because it takes our mind away from this place. It takes our mind away from the things that has happened that's brought us here. Then once a week, the inmates and their dogs meet here to talk about lessons learned and any problems that week. It's a rewarding but challenging experience. It's not what we say to each other, it's how we say it to each other. What does that do for the dog that's hearing all that? What does Mr. Mm -hmm. say? And the love that they have and the love that you give them in a place like this and being surrounded by negativity and it, 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 it helps. These unassuming partners in crime also help when inmates leave this place. They get a lot of confidence because they realize I can handle a dog. I can get this dog to sit. I can socialize this dog and they, they learn so much. And a lot of what they learn, they can take when they leave here. We really, we work really, really good on this building. For the dogs, leaving here could be in a few weeks. But for some of these women, that could be in years or never at all. They're just, they're smart animals and they deserve to have a home and a second chance. A second chance, a new leash on life these inmates are hoping for too. And I left there wanting to adopt every single one of those dogs. Now, talking to some of the women, many of them say this program has made them want to pursue a career in veterinary medicine. And, uh, in fact, some of them who have been released, been through the systems program, have actually gone to do so. So the results speak for themselves, really. Absolutely. How rare is this kind of program in South Carolina prisons? It's the only one of its kind in South Carolina. One 
one that deals directly with greyhounds. There are some other programs across the country that deal with dogs. When we're talking former racing dogs, it's a very unique and rare program. Mm -hmm. Cost effective as well. It looks like everybody benefits. Right. Thank you, Shelly.